Coach, how did how do you think the practices went uh, yesterday for the receiver group? Yeah, it's good. Really good competition. Um, it was kind of a breath of fresh air going against a, a different scheme, a different look, different set of DBs. Um, you know, great competition all across the board. Um, you know, our it's been a blessing going against our DBs all the way through, through training camp so far because extremely physical. Um, like to put hands on and stuff. And you know, this scheme we're going against, you know, yesterday is a little bit different. Um, give us some different looks, different experiences, but uh, it's been great. All the guys have been getting better every day. They, uh, you know, really take up, you know, the challenge when we're at practice against our guys, and then when we come out here against these guys. We were over on defense most, but we heard about Josh Ali getting open deep, Bijan getting open deep. He's not your guy, but yeah, a little bit on Josh Ali and uh, the camp he's had. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's come along really well. Um, you know, coming in kind of midway through the year last year, kind of getting used to our program and and everything that we really do. Uh, you know, Josh is, you know, he's doing a good job. He's playing multiple positions. He's uh, kind of learning on the fly because, you know, last year, you know, he got a little bit of experience out there on the field. But, you know, every single day is, a, is another day for him learning and trying to get better. But he's, he's done a great job so far. And yesterday he made some, made some big plays for us. Your guys outside of Drake have – come up in a, in a lot of cases the hard way, as Arthur would say. Do you feel that in your room? Do you feel that sort of whatever that brings? Yeah, you know, room? these guys, everybody's got a lot to prove. You know, some of them are underdogs, some of them are high drafts, some of them are undrafted. You know, we got a, a good mix of of the right type of people that are all hungry, you know. They all, all have something to prove. They're all trying to get better every day. Um, they're great people. They're competitors. They, they are great teammates. Um, so it makes them really easy to coach every single day. And I, I know I don't have to worry about them coming out every day and, and working hard and, and being good teammates and doing whatever's best for the team. But at the same time, we, we do a lot of good things of you know, trying to get better and improve as receivers um, every single day. When you're putting together that room for the season, how much of it is balancing the best whatever? five, six, seven guys, and how much of it is we're putting together a unit that makes sense of guys who can do this and this and this and fill in those. Yeah, numbers. yeah. as everybody knows, like, you know, if you watch our offense, we're extremely multiple. We, we don't peg a certain guy into a certain spot. You know, he's not always going to be this receiver, this receiver. Like, all of our guys have to be multiple and play multiple positions and do every single route that we have on the field, whether it's receivers, running backs, tight ends. Like, you, you know how we roll. It's, just, it's a skill group. It's not receivers or Everything's not individual. You see us run, run routes on air. We're all running the exact same routes. So uh, the more we can be multiple as an offense and then start using those different personnel and putting all the different pieces that we have every single all over the field, the more it's going to help us uh, just create confusion for the other side of the ball. What kind of camp is Drake London having in the second year in the league? Uh, he's doing good. You know, he's you know he's really matured. You know, obviously, first year, he's still young. I mean, the kid just turned 22 years old. Every single day is still you know, a little bit of a learning experience for him. Um, and like I was, you know, alluding to earlier, it's it's really good for him to go against not just Jeff and AJ every day, but he comes out here and goes against some other DBs um, that are experienced uh, and have a lot of experience in this league. So, you know, his, his maturation process of looking at the other side of the ball, understanding defense, not just his responsibility and his route, you know, he's really opened up his game and uh, allow him to play more free. We heard about Mac Collins' his eating habits, but how about his football? You know, Mac has been an unbelievable addition to our room. Uh, from the leadership standpoint, uh, he has really taken hold of that room, and you know, everybody kind of follows him. Him and Drake are really the ones that kind of lead the charge every single day. Um, you know, he's he's experienced. He's been in the league for a long time. He's been on multiple teams. You know, and, and really everywhere he's gone, that that team has somehow ended up winning. Like he's he's a winner in my book, and. Not only you know the intangible stuff, but physically, as you guys can see, he's he looks like a tight end out there, um, and he's a, he brings a physical mindset to our room, and it's been a pleasure to have him so far. Yeah, you know, a couple of years ago when Frank was first here, I never would have thought I could play him at multiple positions. Like he's one of those guys that comes from a you know, a, a scheme in college where he did never, never was in a huddle, always getting signals from the sideline. So it was a learning process for him early on. And now where he's come and how many different places you can put him and, you know, the, the growth is he's, he's had over, you know, two, three years, he's really coming into his own. And, you know, with Frank, he is, as everybody knows, he's the juice man. He brings the energy every single day. 
um, which is, you know, his one of his skills and one of his traits. He's just got to learn to, you know, keep it calm every single day and you just come out and be consistent every single day. Um, and he can make plays for us, and he's shown it throughout camp so far. And, you know, we're really just, you know, leaning on him to be the juice man but also make plays and be, be multiple. He's been good. He's been really good. Um, you know, he's come into a room that, you know, there's competition all over the place, and he's one of those guys that's competing. Um, he's had some experience in the league. He's, you know, mainly been a special teamer everywhere he's gone, but he's like another guy that's trying to prove himself. You know, we got a bunch of hungry dudes uh, in the wide receiver room that are really just going out there and, and trying to earn a, you know, earn a roster spot. You say that in, you know, you don't have to name names in terms of, like, guys in the bubble to make this 53-man roster, but what do you need to see over the next few weeks as y'all are leading up to making those decisions for some of these guys? It, it's obviously a lot of it comes down to what they're going to do in Marquise's room and how they're going to contribute on special teams. And that's and everybody in the room knows that situation. If you're going to be – you know, one of the five or six guys that we have and we carry throughout the year, you got to be able to contribute and play on fourth down and on kickoff and kick return and all that thing. So those guys understand that. Uh, and a lot of it's about consistency. It's about trust. Can we can we trust you to put you out there at any position on the field, be able to fill in anywhere and go make plays and do the right thing? Um, that's the main thing that we're preaching to those guys because we know all those guys have all the ability to go make plays on the outside, but you just got to be trusted to do the right thing every single every single play. Against the Dolphins, with you know they mix coverages and so forth. I understand from Xavier yesterday that they don't just play press like they used mm -hmm. to. How does that help you all develop, or does it help the receivers read on their routes, or getting that uh, variety of coverage uh, options? Yeah, you know it's been like I said, it's been great down here in the sun, out here at the beach. Like it's it's a different world down here. It's a little bit hotter. Uh -huh. Not only are we learning from that, but the different looks that. You know, it gets kind of a little monotonous going up after the exact same guys every single day. They, are, they start learning our tendencies, mm -hmm. our route patterns and stuff. You go against a brand new defense, you start seeing a different world. A little bit of free access on the outside allows us to coach off of more things and help these guys grow as receivers. Between yourself, Arthur, Matt Baker, Matt Collins, Andre Smith, what's it like to have so many UNC connections in the building? There he is. Um, <laughs> you know, it's great. Um, obviously, uh, I've known Arthur for a long time. We were together at UNC, and I, Baker was the guy right before me when I got there. And you know, it just the more Tar Heels that we have in this building, the better. That's just the way it's going to be. Like if we could get the whole squad out here, that'd be great. But uh, no, it's it's awesome to know people and work with people that you know and you have common common themes with in the past and stuff. And you know, everybody from UNC is just really smart and really intelligent. And works really hard. Extremely, extremely athletic across the board maybe it's just Mac but uh, no it's been good so far um, we got a good group I asked Arthur about where you've made strides I'd like to ask you where you think you've made strides since the end of last season yeah I just feel like taking what they give me um, you know I feel like I've been seeing it well um, you know very comfortable with our offense so it's really about just going out there and not trying to force anything uh, not trying to make you know one play a big play or anything like that but just trying to make it play by play um, so that's where I feel like I've gotten better. So where do you, what do you think you've gotten out of these joint practices yourself? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, you go against your defense every single day, and, uh, you know, they, they learn the cadence, they learn, you know, the snap count and everything. And so, you know, they get a little jump on you, and it gets a lot, a lot tighter. Um, but for me, you know, just coming out here, playing against another D, um, you know, obviously seeing different coverages, seeing off coverage, um, just working different timing, uh, you know, I think that's what helps all of us. You know you've been going up against this defense, obviously, but seeing them go up against Miami and kind of the plays they were making there with you guys watching, how fun is that to kind of see them go fly out there? Yeah, it's always fun. You know, obviously it's split fields when we get out here and then we were able to go in the indoor today. And so, you know, you saw everyone go at each other. And so, you know, that, that makes it fun for both teams and both sides, you know, to, to see the competitive. Obviously, that's why, you know, every single guy in that building is here is because, you know, we're competitors. So, you know, to see that come out, obviously it's, you know, as close as a game like you're going to get. So it's pretty cool. How fun was it to go into the door and out of the hot? Yeah, you know, it, it felt good. You know, I didn't know if it was going to be worse or better just because how cold it was in there. You know, why people cramp up coming from the heat or something. Are there any? Oh, I'm sorry. Are there any comparisons to be made between throwing to Pitts and throwing to Alec when you're at UC? Uh, no. I mean, other than that, they can go up and get the ball. Uh, you know, those are two completely different creatures. Um, but you know, both of them are great players. Um, obviously, played a long time with with Alec, and obviously, you know, playing years with with, with KP. Um, you know, say there like to be similarities, but no, they're different in their own style. Those uh, some of the young guys like Bijan and Bergeron taking to all the volume that they camp and having all the.
Yeah, they, they've been uh, they've been taking it on great. Um, you know, talked to Bergeron when uh, when when he you know stepped up in that role, um, and just let him know. You know, that it was his time now. It was go time, ready to go. Um, he stepped into it perfectly. And then, as you guys know, you know me and Bijan are, are have been together since day one, and you know he's doing great. Well, I know our camp can be up and down, I have good and bad days, but how good did it feel to have that success in the red zone earlier when practice got going? Oh, it, it felt great. Obviously, you know, I wanted to come out here, set the tone. Uh, obviously, seven on seven isn't real football. You know, it, it's just seven guys on, on, on air, basically. Um, but just to be able to get things started and get things going, it was great for us. That wasn't a cool day. They threw a couple touchdowns, and you was getting luck, getting out there a little bit. Yeah, you know, there's always emotion. It doesn't matter. Like I said, you know, everyone else has to see the tone being set. Um, so, you know, sometimes there might be good plays and, you know, you don't feel the energy. you got to bring it yourself. I think maybe more than... going against uh, Big Fangio's defense and so forth? Uh, Coach said that'd be a big uh, opportunity for you all to get some action against a you know, veteran coordinator. Are you asking me or Desmond Howard? Oh, Desmond Howard, <laughs> boy. Yeah, we grew up in Cleveland together. He went to St. Joe's. Where Clark Kellogg went. Yeah, no. But did I say Desmond Howard? Yeah, you did. It's okay, all good, though. No, you're good, man. We work for the Atlanta the Journal, and it's all good. We're good. <laughs> um, well, I also went to Cincinnati. Yeah, and yeah, I'm still, yeah. Well, it's, it's my birthday, so I'm Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, Let's go back to work here. Yeah, here we go. Um, no, it, it, you know, it's good, obviously, being able to, to go up against uh, Vic's defense. You know, you see a lot of the similar defense throughout our year. Um, so, you know, it's just great to go up here and, you know, be able to, you know, see what they do on film and go back and, and watch it and then know what we're going to be doing in the future. I know you don't know uh, how much you'll play on Friday, if you'll play, but you get a chance. What's the mindset? Uh, you know, right now I'm prepared to play, you know, as much as they do so they pull me out. Um, so for me, it's going like every single week, you know, going in there to win the game. Uh, so whether I play one snap or 100 snaps, you know, I'm going in there to win every single play. Do you want to play? Would you prefer? Hell yeah, I want to play. <laughs> yeah, this is my job. This is what I love to do. So I, anytime you let me play football, I'm going to play football. How'd these last, sorry, I know you're having to repeat yourself. How'd the last two days go from your perspective? Yeah, they went well. Um, you know, from the offensive side of the ball, obviously we don't get to see much of the def defense. Uh, but from our side, you know, there are a lot of good things, a lot of bad things. Uh, for us, you know, one thing that we want to cancel out is just pre-snap penalties, the operation, the false starts, uh, you know, legal shifts, whatever it may be. Um, those are the things that we want to cancel out and be able to uh, be able to get out of our game because you turn on the Hall of Fame game, you know, there's just numerous amounts of pre-snap penalties. Uh, so that was one thing that, you know, we wanted to look and keep getting better on. Is that something you identified yesterday in yesterday's film that you try to do today? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, that's something that we identified, you know, what was that? They played on Thursday, I think it was. Uh, we came in, turned on the film, and you just saw how many pre-snap penalties there were in that game. Uh, and, you know, as an offense, you know, obviously we can't control what the defense does after the ball snapped. Um, but we can control everything that we do before the ball snapped. And so for us, you know, our job is getting lined up and getting lined up fast. And so, um, you know, for us to do that, that's just part of our game. It's part of your game. And, and you had it last year, being able to throw to quarterbacks, having that outlet, or running backs, rather, as an outlet. Is that a small advantage, medium advantage, a big advantage? Or does it depend on the personnel? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a huge advantage, you know, and then it definitely depends on who you have. But, you know, a lot of the times you look at man coverage and, you know, your wideouts are with DBs, excuse me, your tight ends are with safeties or corners, whatever it may be, and then it leaves you on your running backs. And so your matchups between a running back and a linebacker, maybe they blitz the linebacker and it ends up being a DN, you know, I forbid Bijan be on a DN because it might be a bad day. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you know, those are the matchups that we look for. As you're kind of going through these last couple of days and you get to see this offensive line work against a different defensive line, what intrigues you about the way this group works together? Yeah, you know, these guys, you know, ever since I stepped foot in the building, they, they've been, you know, the, the core of this offense and, you know, been able to, to dominate the line of scrimmage and be able to move it. Um, and, and they've just been working every single day, day in and day out, you know, to, to be the best that they can be. So, you know, it excites me to go back out there with them another year and just keep it going. Yeah, how much uh, does the connection with Drew Dahlman kind of help you? And, and what does that kind of look like for you guys? Yeah, it's good. You know, a lot of the connection is really just, you know, just being able to just talk and communicate. Uh, we got to get the play started, just us two. So, you know, as long as we're on the same page and everything usually works out pretty smooth. <laughs> what do you get out of practices like this as a rookie? Uh, I think just more experience um, because, you know, you go, you go up against your team uh, the, whole, the whole time during camp. And I think that when I get to go up against somebody else and, you know, really get to show, you know, what you can do, uh, not, not only against your team, but then it gets another opponent, uh, especially a good opponent like them. I think it's good for the experience and your confidence as, as a young guy because, you know, for me, you know, I'm, I'm trying to learn so much. And now that I get to, you know, kind of compact it and then go out there and, you know, do it as fast as I can, um, 
I think that was, that was pretty good for me. So I, I would say like more experience and, and just getting more comfortable with, with the game. Is there anything you saw when you watched like film from yesterday's practice that you try to do differently today or work on today? Yeah, I would just say like just, just keep pressing uh, and then just keep going on my track for, for the runs. Because I think that if I when I just kept pressing, then that's when things opened up, and then that's when I get to you know do, do things at the second level. But you know they're they're a fast defense, so you know I want to you know get get them on their toes and and try to get them as uncomfortable as I, as possible. And that's what, that's what our coach kept saying. You know if you just press press the holes, press the gaps, then that's when that's when they can open up for you, and that's what you can get you know in those open lanes. So that's that's what I was trying to work on today, and then even just you know staying patient on on some of my routes and. You know, just kind of reading the defenders and, and reading, you know, what they were going to do, reading the safeties, um, and even a corner if, if he was up against me, just trying to, you know, see how I can get him off the line and, and do some cool things. But that was, that, was, that was what I was trying to focus on, uh, especially when I was watching film yesterday, so I can get it right today. Hey, with, with the amount of plays that you're in, and the, you're all over the place. Everybody sees that in practice. But you've had OTAs, you've had many camps, and you talk about the workload. How was that? People say, oh, man, sometimes they try to get the rookies too much. Yeah. Has it been too much, or have you uh, kind of consumed it pretty good? Yeah, I, I think, you know, God wouldn't put me in nothing that I couldn't handle. So I, I think I'm handling it, you know, very well. Um, and that's just thanks to, to my coach, my running back coach, Coach Petrie. And, you, you know, Coach Rice. Dance too, right? The, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that was awesome, too, like, <laughs> because, you know, every night, like, I couldn't, like, kind of relax. I had to, you know, do something with, with the quarterback, do something yeah. with them. They would call me out there. I'd be like, dang, like, sometimes <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. But it, it's, it's cool to see, like, what they do. Um, but that really helped me out a lot because even in, like, OTAs, you know, they want to throw a lot at me so I can get comfortable for, for you know, training camp. Right. And so I think I think it's all coming along, you know, pretty smoothly. And, you know, every week when we get the game plan, you know, I already have my routine, my regiment, and how to, how to study it, how to learn it. Um, and then learn those other positions as well, so I can you know be as comfortable as I can you know going into that week. Is there anything the coaches asked you to do that's new that you didn't do at Texas? Uh, I mean besides like playing you know all the all the other positions mm -hmm. that I play, uh, not really. Uh, they they want me to be as comfortable as possible, so they don't want to like take nothing away or or try to add something that's drastic. Obviously, like I got to learn a lot of different positions now. Mm -hmm. um, which is awesome because you know I get to you know maximize my ability. Uh, but other than that, uh, not nothing really, nothing much. How ready are you to play in there Friday night if they have you play in there? Uh, shoot, I'll be I'll be ready to go. <laughs> I, you know whatever whatever they ask me to do, um, you know I'll be ready whatever whatever it is. But I, I'm excited to you know play play the first game and, and get the first game uh, jitters out the way so I can so I can you know, try to play some great games you know coming along the way. How much do you expect to play? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's whatever, you know, Coach Smith and, and then offer or talk about with me. So, you know, we'll see. Would you like to see some live reps? Is that something that you feel like you need as you get ramped up for week one? Um, I mean, for me, I think in practice, like, I get so many live reps and with, so, <laughs> with so many great guys. Um, I think that, you know, if, if it is, you know, if I play in the game or if I don't, um, I, I think I'll be ready to go with whatever, whatever I do. You mentioned your confidence um, as if you needed it to, to build it. I would imagine at this point with all the success you had, <laughs> had, your confidence would be just fine. But as you step into this level, is it something that you've got to prove to yourself that you can now do it here? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, for me, you know, I think that as a guy that's coming in, uh, doing so many different things, you know, you want to be as comfortable as you can at, at everything and not just at the things that you're good at, but even work on the things that I'm not good at. Uh, or the things that I need to work on, and you know, I think that when it comes with reps and and what they're putting me in and what they're, the situations that they're putting me through, and that's when my confidence starts building, you know, so much more, and I understand the game so much more because I'm learning a lot of different things uh, that I didn't learn before when it comes to like reading coverages, when it comes to you know reading second level def or second level defenders and doing all that pre snap. So th those are the, those are the other things that. I've I've really gotten comfortable with uh, as I've been learning uh, so many different things. Was there, was there a moment this week, whether it was watching something on film or something that happened on the field, that you built that confidence? You're like, oh, okay. Like, was there one specific moment you can point to? Yeah, even just on uh, one of my routes. Uh, you know, it was a route that I was trying to like get better at when it comes to like reading, you know, man coverage or zone coverage. And then now, even today, like when I did it again, you know, I did it, you know, pretty good. Um, because I just like studied it, I read it, and then I understood 
the scheme and the assignment, and that's that's when we made it work. So that's that's what I want to do is just build that. If I don't know it the day before, if I need to work on it more, and then just pr try to get it right the next day. Is it easier to tune out those predictions of being rookie of the year and blah 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 and all that stuff on social media? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I, tune, <laughs> I, I yeah, no, I tune, I tune it all out. Um, you know, because you know, I think for me that you know, people always tell me all the time, like. You know, dude, there's so many expectations on you. There's so many things uh, on your shoulders and everything. But for me, you know, like I always say, you know, I know that God has a, per a plan for me. And I know that, you know, if that's what he wants for me, it's going to happen. Uh, if, it, if he doesn't, then it's not going to happen. So I just always put my my trust in, in, in my faith. And, you know, I'm going to work as hard as I can, like I always say. But, yeah, I always try to tune it out, <laughs> always. Because uh, I feel like if you, if you get into that stuff and you start looking at it, then you, your work can start, you know, the or play machine. Like you, you won't work as hard. You won't do as many things as you want because somebody's always telling you what you want to hear. Um, so I always just try to, you know, let it let it loose and not not talk about it. What's been the toughest thing on and off the field since you got in the league? Uh, toughest thing. Um, There's something you didn't know when you got in the NFL. Like man, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I would just say like just really taking care of your body and having like a routine on doing it. Cause like I'll take care of my body pretty good in college, but you know, these dudes in the NFL, like <laughs> after practice, they're in there having a routine. So I, I saw um, like Keith Smith, like after practice, he was in the training room. Then he was on like one side of the training room. Then he was on another side of the training room. Then he was in the cold tubs and he was back in the training room. It's like, he didn't leave. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like okay, I, I gotta, you know, change, you know, what I'm doing. Uh, because obviously, like, I want that longevity and, and to play in the league as long as I can. So, you know, just seeing that from a, from a vet like him, um, that, that's that been really helping me out a lot. And, you know, after, when I come out here every practice, you know, I always try to feel as good as possible. And, and I've been feeling good. Um, I mean, knock on wood, but, like, I've been feeling good coming out here and trying to perform. Anything else? Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah.